niganista, mun tena nasku mau, ma mau juhta aui mau, ite ei peeta kuhta ehkoja, ite ehkä peuita maa, ki vaja o iskueo, maga, ta manga ja reaasi moni. Every morning, we as women, first thing we do is think of our children. Our grandchildren are tapans. We cry. We're hurting. Every morning, we think of our missing and murdered woman, our children in care, the lack of housing, and an education system that has failed us. These are the things we live with every day on our First Nations. We're not wanting to be rich by any means. We just want to be treated fairly. And I've been told time and time again for a mark by our elders, that women, that women have to stand up and take their rightful place. And when we do that, ladies, that is when we are going to make great strides in the honoring of those treaties that our ancestors made with the Munyao ancestors. It is time that our partners listen to us. We are not children. We know what is right for our children, our grandchildren. And it is time that we stand up. And with that, I would like to invite to our Cree Nation, August 19th, 20th, and 21st, where we are going to host a treaty women's meeting. I hope all of you can come to our gathering where we will be talking about all the laws that have affected us. We are going to ask the woman, what do you want? What is it that we can do to change the foster care system? All the things that are affecting us so with that, I thank you very much. I wasn't going to come up here and speak. I had asked our elder, Matilda, and our good friend Sharon Ben to do the talking for us. But with that, thank you very much. <laughs>